thank you so much for writing your article. Article. <laughs> we were all very touched and deeply moved by your thoughts about the current topic of healing. I was wondering if it were possible to arrange a meeting to discuss the possibility of expanding it into a book based on your experience of the healing dilemma. everything dropped. They did it in the emergency city for count and emergency city for count is one in seven. It's out of the 200 limit. And, uh, and I have to start some heavy medication. I, uh, I've been told to wait until the doctor comes at four o'clock. They're worried that HIV is turning to four plan A's. Uh, I want to do the story of my life. But it's getting hard. How to think? I've been crying a lot. Because I don't want to die. We didn't really speak much. I didn't know what to do with myself at that moment when we were waiting for the doctor. And finally, when the doctor came, uh, he said he's got bad news for us, but we could see on his face before. And he said that Tomasz has got a brain tumor. And after that, he left us and we were quiet. It was just silence for about 10 minutes or so. And Tomar started to say, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Do not want to die. I do not want to die. I do not want to die. I do not want to die. Yeah, of course. Um, my time, I'm getting worse, and I was wondering if if you could be my next kin. What? What do you, what do you mean? I mean. If um, if I get put in into a hospital and I get put on a life support machine, I um, I want I want you to have a say if they should turn it off or not. What? I can't do that. What about your wife? I doubt if we ever come to the hospital. Anyway, you know, not good, and you know what to do. Hi. 
Hi, Thomas. Your blood test results show that this is a type of tumor that cannot be treated with medicines. The MRI scan indicates a large non-functioning adenoma. The fact it's caused such rapid vision loss and severe headaches in such a short space of time indicates pituitary apoplexy. It's a type of local stroke, which means that the tumor has outgrown its blood supply and enlarged suddenly. If we don't surgically decompress the area immediately, there is a risk of permanent blindness. The operation of choice in this situation is the transnasal transphenoidal hypothesectomy, where we reach the tumor via the nasal cavity. They are saying that he can become blind and also he may have to start doing hormone replacement therapy. Cheers, Jim, Mamo. So, Stato? Sorry, um, there's a guy being back. Nothing. Okay, um, look, I need to get into the room, please. Do you have a room key, sir? No, I don't. Sorry, sir, without the room key, I can't let you in. Yeah, I know. Look, I paid for the room on my card. Sorry, sir, it's our policy. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's your policy, but I need to get into the room. Look, I've lost my card. I need to check if it's there before I cancel it. I'm sorry, sir, and I'm going to have to charge you for tonight if the key aren't returned in half an hour. You can't charge me for a room if I haven't got my card, can you? 